Hi, welcome to RK University Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to introduce you with the concepts of operating leverage, financial leverage, and the product of these two that is called as combined leverage. The concept of leverage indicates that use of fixed costs in an attempt to increase the profitability of an organization. When we talk about a fixed cost, we come across with two types of fixed costs. One is operating fixed costs and the second one is financial fixed costs. Now I'll explain you how these fixed costs influence the profitability of a company and how these leverages will help you to understand the risk of an organization. Leverage is an attempt to use fixed costs to increase the profitability of an organization. So when you're talking about a fixed cost, we come across with two forms of fixed costs. One is operating fixed costs and the other is financing fixed costs or financial fixed costs. So when we talk about operating fixed costs, the examples of operating fixed costs are like a depreciation, fixed marketing expenses, then rents, etc. When it comes to fixed financial costs, fixed financial cost is interest. That is interest paid on a loan or loans. Now, why is that the organizations incur fixed operating costs mean? So suppose if an organization want to expand its business, let us say uh, it is in a plan of expansion. To expand its business, organization may purchase new machinery worth rupees 10 lakhs and then uh, lease a, a property to establish a store. So for which it pays rent. The idea is that by purchasing a new machinery, the organization can increase its production so that it can increase its sales and more revenues. On the other hand, by taking a lease, it can sell more products on its own store. So these two is going to have a fixed cost in the sense in case of a machinery, if expected life of machinery is a 10 years, then yearly you will have a depreciation of rupees 1 lakh. And then if a lease rental is another 1 lakh 20,000. So this is uh, rent is 1 lakh 20,000. So these two are fixed operating costs for the organization. So the advantage is by investing more money in a machinery and by holding a leasehold property, company will increase its revenues and which will in turn increase its profitability. Similarly, organizations may also consider going for a loans in the sense by borrowing a loan from a bank or a financial institutions, it can expand its funding in the sense uh, for this machinery, it requires 10 lakh rupees. One option is it can buy this machinery with the own funds or it can buy the same machinery with the borrowed funds. So if it is using from a borrowed funds, that means this has to pay the interest. Now interest is a fixed cost. Now the operating leverage and a financial leverage deals with these two concepts. In case of operating leverage, operating leverage talks about use of fixed operating costs, whereas financial leverage is use of fixed finance costs. The operating leverage is also called as a part or proportion of a business risk, whereas the financial leverage is called as finance risk. And the product of operating leverage and financial leverage, that is operating leverage times financial leverage is called as combined leverage. So combined leverage is a measure of total risk. So these three concepts that is operating leverage measures part or proportion of a business risk, whereas financial leverage measures the finance risk and combined leverage measures the total risk. So in my coming lectures, I'm going to explain you in detail about various uh, lexicals or terminology that we use in uh, leverages that is operating and financial leverages, then how to calculate the break even point break even sales, then we move on to calculating of operating leverage, then financial leverage as well as a combined leverage. Keep watching. Thank you.